airing their concerns about a potential pollution threat looming outside their homes. Neighbors want to hear what environmental experts have to say. Good evening, I'm Tim here. Thank you for joining us. Manufacturing and health concerns, the two items can go together for those living near a plant. But News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson tells us why state officials believe a recent federal report about one facility in Huntington causing more concern than it actually should. Joseph Leffingwell loves his backyard gazebo in Altizer. It's peaceful. Peace now overtaken by worry. Worry about what his neighbor may be putting into the air. His concern starting with news that a U.S. EPA screening showed emissions from the Huntington Alloys plant could lead to long-term health effects, such as asthma, decreased lung function, and bronchitis. Effects that cause Leffingwell to have second thoughts about using that gazebo. Really, I don't want to come back out. I mean, I don't know what I'm breathing now. Leffingwell was among approximately 100 people in attendance at a meeting Tuesday night. State environment and health officials tapping down concern, telling residents the EPA screening tool relied on bad information and overly broad assumptions and was designed to identify potential trouble spots for further inspection. State officials saying they took a deeper look. Their initial findings showing no reason for concern. We're looking more into uh, you know, EPA's report and how that um, applies to this facility. Um, we're not finding the same kind of findings at, at this point. Yet the State Department of Environmental Protection is not fully satisfied, telling residents it plans to conduct fence line testing in the months ahead to be absolutely sure of what is coming from that plant. Uh, so we just wanted to, to verify uh, what kind of a nickel is coming out of there um, and then again reassess what that means for those, those particular areas. As for Leffingwell, he left with concern and unanswered questions, but relief in the fact testing will continue. We need more testing. We need to see exactly what's going on in our neighborhood. State officials now plan to put together a web page to communicate new information as it becomes available. Reporting in Huntington, Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3. State officials actually commended the plant's operator, Special Metals, as cooperating with the state's efforts to monitor emissions in the area. Now, if you didn't get a chance to attend the meeting, you can find additional information from the state's presentation in Curtis's web story.